Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle, and today we are going to do some more bot worms. And although this time we're going to do a color that I've already come up with, red shad, which is a red shad color on one side. It's like a pearl color shift red, and of course black. So we're going to use those two colors I already have mixed up. We're going to heat those up, get them ready. We're going to do a laminate pour so we're going to do the black first and then we'll do the red on top and we're going to do the 4.5 inch bot worm and i've got two of those molds and we're also going to do the six inch so like i said we have two colors already picked out what we have to do is cut these up into smaller pieces and put them in the jar and put a little bit of heat stabilizer in there then that way they do not burn i have had a lot of problems with reheating plastic that was already heated up once um, as long as it's torn into little you know small it doesn't have to be super small pieces but at least pieces enough to where it's separated it will melt a lot better a lot quicker and you don't get mushrooms and i've made a lot of mushrooms in the past and i don't intend to do that anymore so i'm going to go ahead and get both of these colors going get them all chopped up, get them heated up in the microwave. We'll throw them through the degassing chamber at least once for both, and then we'll start pouring. All right, so we are ready to pour. I got my first color black. And it's tough to see, I got my camera. I got this new arm, by the way, the camera's on. I'll try to give you guys a little bit better of a view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the first couple. Let me turn this a little bit so you can see it, just so I can do the first one without being interfering with the camera. And again, I got my plastic up really hot. This is the first time I'm gonna be doing this, so I was gonna say I might spill a little bit. Now I've got the hot plate on right now. And that's as far as we want that black to go. We want it to go down to almost the tail, but we're not gonna quite fill in the tail. Now I got, like I said, I've got the hot plate on, the griddle, so it should level that out. So we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. And I'll get you a little closer when, uh, And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to heat these up. Man, I'm having a tough time pouring this today. And I don't want to get it in the tail, but I'm pretty sure I just did. So let me get you guys to a better angle here. There we go. And then I'm going to try to try to do my best. I got this camera right in my face, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to do this the best I can. Now you want the plastic nice and hot because you want to be able to pour a thin layer because we're going to be pouring two colors. Okay, that's good in there. And again, we're going to clean this up afterwards, so I'm not really too worried about little messes or anything like that. And I've done one round of these already before but I wanted to share this with you guys on camera because it's kind of cool just my process of doing it oh you know what there's one thing I forgot to do I've got these little inserts for another mold that I have that I put underneath the edge of the mold so then that way it's balanced out because right now, ow, I just grabbed the edge of the hot plate because right now it's not completely leveled out. So again, I'm only pouring about half the cavity with the black plastic. And you'll see as I get move on with this, I'll be a little bit better at pouring as, as I go here, but it's really, I don't know if it's starting to thicken up on me or what, but again, 
about half of the amount of plastic. And that's what makes this mold so unique. I love this mold. I had some robo worm type um, I had some robo worm type molds before, but they were not as deep as these. The cavities in these molds are amazing. They're just a little bit deeper than a robo worm, actually quite a bit deeper. So the it's perfect for doing laminates because you really don't have to concentrate on pouring such little amounts or so, you know what I mean to 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 do laminate pouring in those other open pours I had. I mean it was so hard cuz so hard to control. You had to you literally had to have a a tiny streamline and be perfect pouring every time. These ones aren't so bad. Again, we're going to get these in here. We're going to heat this up a little bit. Maybe more than what I've got now. I've just got the I've just got the griddle on warm and they probably will bleed into the tails but that is okay because I will go through and cut them out and let these cool down in between the layers so it's a little bit of a lengthy process and again I'm getting some drips here and there not a big deal we'll go back through and clean it up after but the important part is I get enough plastic in there so that it levels out. Now we're on to the six inch ones, which is pretty much the same thing as the 4.5, just longer. I don't, I don't believe they're any deeper. I'm not sure. I, I didn't really look into that too much. Like I said, going right to the tail. We're gonna stop. Every once in a while I keep scraping the front edge of the cup off. I just keep kind of wiping that off on the edge of my countertop here that I'm working on. So this is just an old piece of countertop from an old kitchen. I think it was my parents, I'm not sure where it came from. But pretty awesome surface to be working on. Again, not a huge deal if you overflow them or you get a little bit extra. The edges on these molds are really sharp. I think this plastic is starting to heat up on me too much, or cool down on me too much. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave, get it heated up a little bit more. I think I'm putting too much in at this point. That one might have been a little bit too much plastic. So like I said, we'll we'll get these to a certain temperature. I think they're probably at around, let's see what they're at now, about 200 degrees right now. So we'll crank it up just a little bit more. Maybe I'll bring like, it says 200 on here, but it's actually only on warm. So I will actually put it up to 200. And what we'll do is temperature is now 330 yeah I want it a little bit more I want it hotter than that um, so what we want to do is we'll bring the temperature up with the black layer we will let it heat up real good and even the plat I want the plastic to melt so I'm gonna let it even out real good heat up the plastic let it even out there's no flake or nothing in this so it's pretty easy to do that and after that levels out We'll turn it off, let it cool down a fair amount, not all the way, and then we'll come back in and trim up, clean up. We'll trim up and clean up and then do our, our shad red color over top. So let's finish the rest of these real quick.
All right, so that's it, guys. We got all, we got 12 of each filled out real good. Once they heat up, that black plastic will ease its way in the cavity the way it's supposed to. Like I said, I'm gonna turn the heat up for a second, let that kind of heat up real good. Right now, like I said, we're at eh, 150, 200 on the outsides. Little ones are a little bit more. But what we'll do is, like I said, let them heat up, let them even out. And then if I have to clean up anything in the tails, we'll clean up things in the tails. Any other little uh, drips we got anywhere, I'm gonna clean all those up. And then we will heat up the red shad and we will go ahead and pour the second color. So, we let that heat up. Now what I'm gonna do is just go around and clean up all of the little stragglers here. And then after we get done cleaning up all the little dots, and it's still a little warm, after we get done cleaning up all the little dots, what we'll do is make sure that the, the um, tails are trimmed, which there's only a few here. I'm gonna sh just show you this one. I'm just gonna use, sorry about that. I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors and just grab the end of the plastic and just kind of scrape out the little, little bits that was left off. I actually did a pretty good job. That one doesn't have any. This one's got a little bit. but it's not bad, it's not terrible, you know what I mean? So, as long as you get a majority of it out of there, it's probably fine. But for the most part, we got, most of them are pretty decent. This one had a little bit left over. And then it looks like most of these aren't too bad at all, except for these couple down here. I, but I knew, I knew there were a few down here in the end that I got a little bit carried away with. So, just got a little bit too much plastic in there. No big deal. Just get it out of there, and away we'll go. So, I went ahead, or I'm going to go ahead and off camera get the rest of the, the little pieces out. Make sure that tails are all good to go, which they are. Tails are all set. But I'm going to go through and just clean up all these little dots. Then that way, you know, when we, I can take the red off and I can actually put these right back into the container too with the black. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and clean these off and we'll come back and I will heat up the red in the meantime so we can pour the second color. Okay, ready for phase two. I got the red shad heated up, got it degassed, looks fantastic. We're going to go ahead and pour our second layer.
that's it. All right, so we're gonna give that other that other end a little bit to get kind of set up here. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of the, and I just laid my arm on the griddle. Don't do that, it hurts. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean up these little gobs that I left on the side of the mold here. And then once we get that stuff cleaned up where we want it, I think that'll do it right there. Okay, so we're at a point now where we're gonna go ahead and we're going to up the temperature to 200. We're gonna let them cook for a few minutes. And then once we get it all cooked up, I will turn the camera back on and we will check them out. And then we'll have to let it cool down too. But I wanna show you the process a little bit. All right guys, so I wanted to show you real quick. Now, I just turned it up to 250 because it wasn't doing what I needed it to do. And the tails are just starting to, to puff out a little bit. I just want to I want to show you this. I want to see if you can see if you can see this with me zooming into it. But do you see how the plastic is just starting to let me get that zoomed in for you. See that plastic's just starting to go around that tail right there? That's where I want it. That's the sweet spot. So I know the plastic is melting. I know the layers are bonding. And as soon as I see that, I just turned everything off. And actually what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm, I've, I am turned the heat off on the, on the hot plate. Actually, there's really not much I can do. I was going to uh, take them off and put them on a cooling pad. But at this point, I think we're, I don't wanna try to take a chance of moving those because the plastic's probably liquidy and it'll probably move on me. So we're gonna let that, I'm gonna let that sit and it's gonna, it's gonna actually spread up spread out more if you notice this one's spreading out more so I did overfill that one a little bit and a couple of these down here I knew I overfilled them a little bit so we're just gonna let them set up let them let them cool down we'll come back and I will clean them up and we'll sh I'll show you what we got so here we have it I'm gonna pull one of these out that doesn't have anything attached to it or doesn't have any bleed off because I got to fix a lot of these so I'm gonna pull this one out right here. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, perfectly laminated. Look at this. So, if you can tell, let me see if I can get this to zoom in real quick. Tough to see probably, there you go. See the red through? Red and black laminate, perfect. And the tail, the beauty of it is the black plastic thins out and goes to the tail and the tail is all red. Perfect laminate, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, I am going to clean up the rest of these, put them in a pile. I'm gonna show you, I've actually got some other worms and they're a little tacky. They need to sit in water for a little bit and cure a little bit more, but I'm gonna get all these cleaned up and we'll take a look at our fr finished product. Here it is, the completed. Now I've got another batch of these sitting over there. I'm not gonna go grab them, but this is, this is the batch that we just made. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of close up here, just how we did it. And they came out great. The red was on the bottom, the black's on the top. We made it so that the tail is red only. And you can see how that black is kind of thinning out when it gets to the tail. Really cool. And it's really dark up towards the tip. So those came out perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> so we made 12 of the 4.5 inch and we made 12 of the 6 inch. They both came out the same. They came out great. I think about the only thing I could do maybe a little bit different is not put as much heat on towards the end when I'm bonding. Um, and I think I put a little bit too much black in there on some of them. Some of them actually got a little bit too much black in the, in the, the tops of the worm. But other than that, I think it came out pretty good. But the colors that we used, and I, like I said, these were already pre-made before we started the video. I did use some dead-on black, black colorant for the black side. And the other side was just some uh, Bait Plastics Red Shad. I'm pretty sure they sell this, MF sells this as well. So, but this, this works really well, great colorant absolutely fantastic for that red shimmer color all right guys well that's going to wrap it up for today's video like i said we made a bunch of the ai bot worms we made the 4.5 inch and we made the six inch 
ep ep absolutely epic. I love these molds. They're made great. Like I said, the deeper cavities on these make these a great uh, robo worm type, you know, type bait. They're, but they're deeper. They're a lot easier to pour as far as laminates go. I, I haven't tried a triple, I think I did try a triple pour, full pour in the first video. Didn't really come out too well. I feel a little bit more comfortable about it now. I think I might try to tackle it now, but you just gotta remember to keep that plastic nice and hot. So then that way you can pour the thinner lines. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember as always, keep on baiting. <laughs>